Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our mutual aspect of Jupiter and Mars. And what happens when Jupiter and Mars are mutually looking at each other in your horoscope? And as you know, the story of mutual aspect is whatever I'm saying here is probably going to be the 50% of the entire meaning because we do not know what ascendant you have. We do not know where, which house this uh, mutual aspect is occurring. It is, it is it first and seventh house, second and eighth house, third and ninth house. We don't know which houses these planets are ruling because they're going to be taking the qualities of those houses and influencing each other in those manners. Okay, so this is something you want to be aware of. Now, if you do not know if you have this mutual aspect and especially what degree this mutual aspect is happening, that will tell you how strong this mutual aspect is for that. Check out the links here and check out my full astrological report where especially on the second page, you'll see exactly Mars and Jupiter are placed. So if Mars is in Taurus and Jupiter is in Scorpio, you know, they're directly opposite to each other because the mutual aspect is seven houses apart, 180 degrees apart. So this way you will see that at this link here, including my books, astrology, conjunction and aspects of the speed of flight, including all the other options here in this link. So Jupiter and Mars mutual aspect. And what does it mean? Well, first of all, what is Jupiter? Jupiter is knowledge. Jupiter is your teachers, your gurus. Jupiter represents the higher wisdom, the higher philosophy. Jupiter is life, jiva, biology, all the biological life out there from plants, insects, animals. All of this is ruled by Jupiter. Then what is Mars? Mars is a fighter, soldier. Mars is the god of war. Mars is fire, aggression. Mars is our energy, where we put our energy. Mars is what we're trying to accomplish because Mars is that charging army. So these two planets are now looking at each other. One thing you got to know, if these two planets are exalted, because Mars is exalted in Capricorn, Jupiter is exalted in Cancer, if they both are looking at each other, most definitely you are a very honest and honorable person, honorable uh, um, a person of the people. Yet at the same time, what this shows, regardless of what sign this uh, planet is placed in, or these planets are placed in, you come across very tough, hardcore teachers in your life. Kind of like this military mode like teachers, teachers who always want to push you, teachers who are extremely tough on you, teachers who are very aggressive, teachers who are kind of, um, they don't feed you things easily. They give you things through toughness, through hard work. And this is a, one of the most common mutual aspect of people who are entrepreneurs, businessmen, because that this person is able to take their knowledge and put it into action. This person is able to take their knowledge and, you know, do things with that that spreads out different at different corners of their life, meaning somebody having multiple sources of income. This also is a, one of the combination of people who go into fields of medicine, being a doctor. This is a great coach, sports coach motivational coach so if you have this you know how to motivate the crowd you know how to motivate people out there you know how to push people in the right direction and since jupiter represents our ability to counsel listen to counsel or give counsel shows your ability to give counsel is very direct you're always direct straightforward with your counseling ability because that's how you were taught in your life. So now you give this to people. When you want to teach something, you go straight to the point. You don't beat around the bush. And since Mars and Jupiter are looking here, you will find these people not only great in sports, but they will also do well in fields of police work, military. Because it's your intelligence. Jupiter represents your true intelligence. The intelligence is able to fight. You're able to use your intelligence to win wars, to win battles. At the same time, these are both very fiery planets. Because Jupiter, is a, even though Jupiter is a gas giant, it's, it's really a very fiery 
planet is the god the, the zeus god the god of lightning and both of these planets rule fire signs aries and sagittarius besides water besides their watery feminine nature they have a masculine nature and mainly the masculine nature over dominates the feminine nature because their multricone sign meaning signs that they are actually really feel comfortable in is aries and sagittarius so shows that this person is a person if you if the rules are not followed if their instructions are not followed they kind of just throw that fire at you throw that anger at you and these are the managers who are good motivators who will push you but if you do not do what you're supposed to do if you are screwing up man they're going to come after you and they're going to throw that lightning on you in no time so that anger that fire is within them the pitta is within them so that aggressiveness comes in this is why they may they make very good businessmen they know how to make that deal happen they know how to be that cutthroat But obviously, like I said, this mutual aspect can bring in a marriage into a person's life, bring in a home and land and real estate because Mars is a significant of land and real estate. Jupiter is a significant of three basic necessities, necessities in life, food, shelter, clothing. So these people definitely do business of these things. But again, we do not know what house this is occurring in for us to really understand their true meaning. Because if it's in the first and seventh house, in Jupiter major period, Mars sub period, or vice versa, a person can get married or be in a relationship. So we have to look at carefully. You know, Jupiter is also the significator of children. Here you will see that most definitely a person may have a male child in their life. Because two masculine planets are now looking at each other. So no matter what children you have, they'll be very tough, very self-motivated motivated children, very masculine, a personality type children. Okay. So guys, this was my analysis of Jupiter and Mars mutual aspect. If you want to know where your mutual aspect is occurring, what other, other mutual aspect planet replacements for that, check out the links here and check out my full astrological report, including my books and my consultations. Everything is at this link here. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with... Sun in the eighth, seventh house for Taurus ascending. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye bye.